The impact crater or the Wannabe Crater in Greenland, locally known as the Manitsik structure, is situated 55 kilometers, 34 miles, southeast of the Greenlandic settlement of Manitsik. The structure has a diameter of around 100 kilometers and was created about 3 billion years ago. However, its origin has come under scrutiny recently. Research later determined that what was once thought to be the planet's oldest meteorite made crater was the result of regular geological processes. An international team of scientists headed by Chris Yakin Shuk from the University of Waterloo discovered the properties of this location are not consistent with an impact crater while doing fieldwork in Greenland at the Archean Manitsik structure. A different team determined it to be the relic of a meteorite crater that formed 3 billion years ago in 2012. Two different teams seem to come to two different conclusions regarding this. What is the truth behind it? Geologist Adam Gard from the Geological Survey team of Greenland and Denmark and his colleagues declared the Manitsik structure to be the earliest known example of its sort on Earth in 2012 after discovering evidence that it was formed by a meteor impact. But the team's conclusions, however, were disputed by a recent study. It should also be mentioned that even Gard said that he was not convinced. A geologist named Chris Yakin Shuk at the University of Waterloo in Canada told that despite significant research, they have not yet discovered signs of microscopic shock deformation, which is common in almost all other impact craters. He also said that their findings suggest that hundreds of millions of years of ancient plate tectonic movement, heating, and deformation resulted in the construction of the region's structure. Is it not an impact crater? According to a 2012 paper published in the journal, Earth and Planetary Science Letters, Gard and his colleagues concluded that the Manitsik structure is an impact crater mostly based on the design of the rocks in its center. According to the researchers, the depth of those rocks and how they had been pushed into the ground could only be explained by the impact of a meteorite. Yumshuk said that an impact origin was possible given the evidence they had at the time. The objective of Yakinshuk's team was to use more data obtained using a more comprehensive range of methodologies to test the impact hypothesis. Yakinshuk's team examined zircon crystals, extremely resilient, minute structures comprised of zirconium silicate, as their primary argument against the impact origin theory. More than even 5,000 of these grainy minerals were examined by the team, but no signs of impact damage on the crystal such as crystal fractures, could be seen. Scientists have recently used these crystals to demonstrate that the Earth's crust expanded quickly at roughly the same time as the Manitsik structure. The Manitsik structure was probably produced by a similar tectonic growth spurt, according to the experts. Contrasting opinions. Gard doesn't seem to agree with Yakin Shuk's research. He says that just natural geological processes can't fully account for the origin of the structure, particularly in the core areas where the rocks appear to have been subjected to extreme pressure. In addition, he even doubts if zircon crystals can provide the full picture because no other impact craters have been proposed that are this old, which suggests that any remnants of a previous impact may have been wiped out by geological processes over the ages. According to Gard, some investigations have even shown that zircon crystals may sustain surface damage without showing any apparent signs on the core of the crystal. The question remains, is the Manitsik structure still recognized as an impact crater? It should be noted that according to the Earth Impact Database, the Manitsik structure is no longer classified as an impact crater. The Yarrabubba impact structure in Western Australia is now thought to be the oldest impact crater known to science, according to a study published in the journal Nature. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.